afternoon, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Two Future Photography with Kyle. And it's been a long time since I've been out with a camera and doing vlogs in there. So I'm back now. I've had a good year off. Um, so I'm back and I'm down here in Wasdale. And this is, this is the first start of winter today. And the snow's hit and it's absolutely glorious down here today. It's qu quite tricky conditions. I've never like been here when snow has been hitting heavy and I didn't think I would get here, but I've gotten here. So the reason I've chose to come here today is I live quite close and I've always wanted to get a shot of Wasdale in Wastwater in snow, like with a lot of snow. What I want to do is I want to get a panorama image and, and then put it on the wall. So hopefully I'll be able to get that today. It's uh, very windy out there at the moment and the, sh the snow showers are keep blowing in. Just going to have a look. Oh, the light is really good. <laughs> Where do you see this? It looks absolutely beautiful. I'm gonna get the camera set up certain quickly because the light's really good over there. Look at that. Right. Get the camera out, get it set up, get me panorama image. What I've been wanting for a long, long time. And look at the conditions. Drove down here and I've actually forgotten my mobile phone. So I can't, I can't get the drone up, so there'll be no drone footage, unfortunately. Which is unfortunate, but the main thing is I've got the camera and I've got an SD card. <laughs> That's the main thing. Right, so I'm getting the tripod exactly level. I think it's going to be about, about six images five to six images. Let's get focused in there. I need to be, I need to be pretty quick here, cause. I'm gonna get some snow coming in again very, very soon. Settings, I'm gonna just go for F11. Shutter speed is around a 50th of a second. Let me get that two second timer on. Got to get that two second timer on. I mean, the light is really interesting. I mean, look over, look over there. Light is really good over there. I think I'm going to get there. This 100 to 400 millimeter lens back out and just start pointing the camera just into the, into the areas where the light's getting really good. And what I'm going to do is get on and get a low shot. Try and get a bit of the few rocks there in the foreground. Get one of the classic shots of Wass water. Got a few hours here. I think it's about what time are we on now. Nearly one o'clock. I've got a good three hours to go before sunset. So. I should be able to get some nice images here. So I'll put up this image now of this, this shot I've just taken, the panorama image, so you'll see that now. I'm just firing off some shots with the, the 100 to 400 millimeter lens. So my settings at the moment, I'm just on a 25th of a second for shutter speed. Right, 
There's just so many different photographs you can get down here, and that's the most I've ever seen snow on the side of the screes before. So I'm not using any filters on the front, just shooting straight out the camera and just trying to capture as much as I can. We've got a bit of a break in the, in the snow showers, which has given us a chance to get out here and get some photographs. If you, if you look over there, I mean, the light is just changing all the time. And that's the current scene at the moment. We've got, we've, I'm just shooting directly, just where the light's good. <laughs> it almost looks like a monochrome image on the back. Keep getting some, some really, really good contrasts just with the way the light keeps changing. One thing that speaks to me here now is, is, is monochrome. I think it's gonna work really good monochrome. So all I'm, all I'm doing is just literally just fire and fire and fire away. So it just keeps changing, it's very dynamic. This is definitely, the, this is the best conditions I've had down here. And I'm using the, the 100 to 400 and it's, this lens is an absolutely wonderful lens, like it really is. I'm just shooting at the moment, what's interesting me the most at the moment is just this mountain here. And I, I'm just, I, I just love that road that just leads your eye up into the, into the image. Get some really nice light there. Always bring your wellies. <laughs> comes, comes in handy. So around about that height. Let me get the legs, maybe go down one more on the legs. <clears throat> so I'm gonna be using some filters for for this and I think I'm going to use a six stop filter just to flatten out this water here. So if you take a look, take a look at the scene, this is what I'm seeing now through the viewfinder. And it's, I'm really happy with this composition. I think this foreground is really, really good. And the light over there is changing, constantly changing. So with the six stop filter, it's only given us an exposure time of like just over a second, which is, I want to go longer, so I'm going to have to go for the 10 stop. But I could put a, put the F, the F stop down higher. If I go to say F16, I've given us a two and a half second. So I'm just firing off now. With a 24 to 105 lens. So I've got the 10, the 10 stop one there now, and it's I've got the F13, and it's given us an exposure time of 30 seconds. So we'll see how that turns out now. It's just in the process now.
right, so I'm going to sign off on this session. My first vlog. Back out doing what I love. I've had a great time down here at Wasdale. Absolutely love it. Right, so I'll see you on another vlog and hopefully tomorrow I'll be continuing this video on and capturing more of this first dusting of snow of winter 2023 in the Lake District. Catch you soon. to seal the deal. And Cumbria Police has urged people not to travel to the county today after it declared a major incident following heavy snowfall. Four yellow warnings for snow and ice. This is the current scenes in Ambleside. I have to shut the park the car wherever I could. But if you go off any of the main roads, you'll get stuck. What we plan is now, it's just been a day of just getting out and just really just thinking on the go.
and it's, the scenes down here are amazing scenes down here today. <laughs> These are just amazing scenes. It's going to be a slippy one. I'm glad I didn't try and bring the car down here. Avalanche territory <laughs> up on the top. What am I being? So I've climbed as high as I'm going to climb here and I think it's good enough. Look at, look at these scenes here. It is breathtaking. The fog's just rolling in from the side. It's spoiled for choice for, for compositions. It's just everywhere you look, it's just absolutely amazing. So the competition I've gone for at the moment, I've gone for a one-on-one -on -one crop and I've just got a couple of trees there just at the bottom of thirds and I've just got this little house there just here to the centre right of the image two second timer F16 and there it is and light over there and I'm just focusing right in just on the fog in the distance beautiful the light is just perfect it's not too harsh we're getting some absolutely gorgeous light over there at the moment
My battery's running low on my camera. <laughs> oh, the light is amazing. Just... Just take a look at the scenes over there. Wow. This is absolutely breathtaking up here. It really is. Got the long lens back on now and I'm just, and the light is just catching the fog just beautifully. Absolutely terrific. And there's just not a drop of wind up here at the moment. Perfect. worth bringing that flask up now <laughs> oh, tell you what it's getting freezing over you know like oh so i think i'll wrap this video up now because it's it's getting cold and i'll be heading back down soon so I've put up some images that I haven't shown yet. So enjoy and what a day I've had and it's a good end to the first video for a long time. So I hope you've enjoyed it. So subscribe if you haven't, leave a comment. I'll see you next time on another video. Over and out. Mm -hmm.